Hello, this is CookieRx, and welcome back to the NRLA Walmart IndyCar series. Today we're back into some more open wheel racing action, at least just for this month. And this is the Dickies 100K at Kansas Speedway. Yes, we are back at Kansas Speedway, and uh, yeah, we never done a IndyCar race at Kansas before, so yeah, that's why we're going to Kansas this month in August. But yeah, um, it has been uh, weeks since I previously have done the IndyCar race, and I'm glad that I took a break from it. But uh, I still need to uh, finish it. But uh, yeah, I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing the uh, commentary right now for IndyCar this week only, and then we'll take two weeks. Two weeks off to get to September, which is next month, and uh, I f don't know if it's gonna run along with the Colgate Cup series, especially for the uh, Sicko series, since I need to change its schedule due to reasons. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, you'll probably uh, see some more IndyCar races, and they're gonna be. There's actually going to be five of them next month, so yeah, I'm only doing one IndyCar race this month, so uh, yeah. Anyways, um, the previous race was the Gold Bowling Grand Prix, the GoldBowling.com Grand Prix, either one of the two, at Watkins Glen International, and uh, Joey Cochrera got, got its first win at Watkins Glen. Since I've never seen him won any NR races on this channel before. But yeah, that's officially his first win at Watkins Glen. So congrats to him. And uh, nothing has still changed for Trey Smith. He is still the points leader with a 1,415 points of what he's currently got. And uh, I don't know. Is there, is there any changes for this? No, I don't think there's changes for B for Creed, Kip Civil Point, Peter on Jack. Yeah, I think it's just four drivers that haven't changed recently. So, yeah. So, Trey Smith is still the points leader. B for Creed is at second with a total of 1,377 points. Kip Silver, Silver Point is at third, and then Peter Ajak at fourth. So, yeah, nothing has still changed for these four. They're still at their same positions, uh, except for the others, of course. But, uh, excuse me. But, uh, yeah. And before we get to the starting grid, we actually have a new driver that will be replacing. Uh, the 10 driver, not gonna tell you who, due to reasons, but Caleb Rose will be the new 10 driver that will run the 10 car for the rest of the season for 7 races, and uh, yeah, welcome to the Ganassi team, Caleb. Really proud of having you. But yeah, anyways, um, that's all the updates I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm glad I'm getting back to NASCAR, just... IndyCar, excuse me, not NASCAR, for the IndyCar series just for this month, and then once we get to two weeks of this year, we'll get to, I'll get to upload five IndyCar races this month, and of course, I will do the finale when we get to October as well, along with the Circo series and the Colgate Cup series. Not sure about the Indy Lights or the USF 2000, I kind of want to finish these two up besides of uh doing a big week to finish uh five of those seasons but no you're gonna see the you're gonna see some changes later of course after I'm done with uh Tuesday like the whole day I don't know but let's just get to the stern grid for the Dickies watch K. Okay. Row 1 is Nick Kennedy on the pole for tonight's race in 27. 
Up alongside with Nick is Will Parrish. Row two, we got uh, Phil Mosco and John Andrews. Row three, we got Ty Nicholas and Caleb Bros. Row four, we got Kipso, Silverpoint, and Zachary Dolello. Row five, we got Keith Kent and Mike Meffer. Row six, row six, we got Donut for Human and Andrew Williams. Row seven, we got Asa Joel and. Uh, Sophia Fragnetto. Row 8, we got Carvel and Trey Smith. Row 9, we got Lance Smith Jr. and Freddie Waters. Row 10, we got David Byers and Daniel Bouchard. Row 11, we got Sema Oskin and Krisha Vargas. Row 12, we got Joshua Robinson and Peter Arjak. Row 13, we got the previous winner, Joey Cotrera and Logan Williams. Row 14, we got Ru Sakawa and Christian Beefery Creed, excuse me. And finally at row 15, staring last is Owen Crafton in the 98. So that will whoops, that will be it for the staring grid of the Dickies 1 k So let's go ahead and get to your command. Then after that as the race report, once until the pace car gets itself back to the pit lane, we're all set to go to race at Kansas for some open wheel action here for the Eden Car Series. Drivers, start your engines! Engines have been fired up before any car drivers that are definitely getting ready to start this race at Kansas. And the pace car will be rolling off to turn three and turn four. And we will go ahead and get to your race report. By the way, it's gonna get a little bit laggy, but I'm pretty sure I can handle it. 54 laps, 81 miles is what we got here. The pit windows, previous winner is Joey Cartrera, and this is our first IndyCar Racing 2018 mod race at Kansas. But yeah, like I said, it's gonna lag a little bit. I'm pretty sure it can handle the whole race. As you just saw my uh fail about two leaks merging, but if you haven't, go ahead and check it out. But anyways, um, we are green for the Dickies Watch UK at Kansas. To start things off with Phil Moscow that okay Freddie Waters has gone down to the pit lane after getting a bad start but uh he yeah, had unexpectedly happened but anyways um coming from turn three and turn four Phil Moscow was leading before when we get to lap two but now it's gonna go to Ty Nicholas Kip civil point for a second place. Nick Kennedy the pulse are currently at third side by side with Phil Moscow that's still onto the outside lane. And now Nick is not side by side with 22 anymore. Uh, the drivers uh, doing up a human and AC12 are gonna keep passing Phil Moscow. And uh, if Phil Moscow Kept losing positions. Oh man! Nearly got spun out by David Byers, but he's really trying to get to the inside lane. But most of these drivers have gone into his way, so yeah, that's uh, quite a bad start. But it's not it's not as bad as you think. Anyways, Ty Nicholas just loses loses lead. Kip Sorpoy and Nicketty going for a side by side battle for the lead. And I think Nicketty is gonna get himself back to first after winning a side by side battle. 
There goes doing out for human to the inside lane. Already going for the lead from the front stretch. Now for turn one. He has become the new leader. He is central to second. Nick Keddy is side by side of Ty Nicholas right now. As uh Ty Nicholas has gotten himself to second. Wow, we already got a free wide. We got a free wide at Kansas. From David, Nick, and Aeson. Ain't that great. But anyways, Ty Nicholas is at second. And he's gonna try to get a good draft from the five to try to pass him and then get his lead back. But uh yeah. David Byers after experiencing a free wide from the outside or no from the inside I think he kept him he has moved to third which I think he was fifth before Moscow at fourth still running for the top five position and so does Nick Caddy Phil Moscow going for the pass to the inside lane. And he's gonna get himself to third place now. Oh, well watch this. David is already gonna try to get his position back for Phil Moscow already from turn three and turn four. Nice move from David. Already have guns lead back that fast. There goes Lewis and Kawa now to fourth. With the previous winner Joy Katrera fifth behind him. Moscow is still at the outside lane. But uh that is fine. Hopefully no one can uh, block his way and he'll try to go to the inside lane as of now since he is actually queer, which he's not close with the twenty seven. A 27 order 19. Excuse me. David Byers going behind the 8 of Titan Nicholas. As Titan, Titan hasn't really have gone closer with Don Abrahiman yet. So uh, I don't know. He might not get a draft from the 5. So I think second place will go to David Byers since he just passed him to the inside lane. Oh, sparks flying out coming to, coming from the five car. There's Joey Cartrera third. David Byers is going to try to pass him for the lead. Dylan nearly got spun out by the 63. We mostly tried to block him, so that didn't work out for him. Oh, I really thought he would uh, save his position for the lead, but he couldn't at turn three, at turn four. So, yeah, the now the lead goes to Dylan Abraham now. Someone spun out at turn one, I think. Oh God, the light shut off from my room. But anyways, that might have come from. Andrew Williams or Freddie Waters. I don't know, so it looked like someone hit the wall. Yeah, it does look like one driver that does look like that one driver just hit the wall from that turn, but anyways. Side by side battle between Don Abrahaman and David Byers. That's uh... I don't know what I was trying to say there, say there but... Hey! Don Abrahaman got his lead back, so... Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would... Okay, that might have been a problem. Since uh, Titan... Has gone to the inside lane now. 
which it might have mean that he might have the chance to uh, get that lead until now. As I said that pretty too soon, <laughs> but uh, anyways, so yeah, he is the leader now. When he has the chance to get the lead from the five. Now he has Nick Kennedy from second behind him. Still, still trying to get himself back to the lead. While we're, while we're at lap 18 out of 54 laps. And is Kennedy gonna try to pass him? Sign Nick was tight. Just, uh, I've gotten his tires to the wall. But at least he can't block Nick Kennedy, so. I think he'll be fine. Well, there goes Andrew Williams. I think that might have been Andrew Williams who just uh, spawned out at turn one, I think. He might have hit the wall, but. I don't know, does he have any damage? Wait a minute. The caution has came out. Wait, 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 wait. Caution this came out. What? Uh, what? Oh, that came from the front stretch. Okay, I haven't even see why that happened. Oh, it looked like Peter Arnjack got involved with someone. I think with Mike Merfer, Logan Williams, maybe David Byers? I don't know, but we haven't seen that crash from the front stretch, and now they're in the pit lane to uh, change some tires and uh, repair some damage, but yeah, a crash have actually happened at the front stretch so uh... yeah that that just happened anyways um... we got Ty Nicholas who is still leading uh... Nick Hedy is at second Kip Silverpoint at third Aeson Joel at fourth and Phil Moscow at fifth place and I will go ahead and scroll through the rest of the drivers Oh, John Andrews is out. I think he's one of the drivers that have gotten fall from that wreck, but man. Doesn't that suck for John Andrews? Well, lights have shot up from my room again, so great. Anyways, I'm gonna get to the replay right now, so here it is. Well, I've clearly not paid any attention to this crash at all since I was in the middle of supping. But, uh, yeah. David Byers, I've got spun out by... No, John Edges got spun out by David Byers and then just hit... Uh, Ty Nicholas? Did Ty Nicholas got involved? No, not Smike Mayfair. Right. It's definitely not, uh... Tight necklace, but anyways, um, back to what we're, what I was talking about. Um, Christian Vargas might have uh, missed the 46, but dang, he just committed a hard hit to the wall and then just done some airtime, and then oh Jesus! Don't tell me he got stuck to the fence. Oh my god, he got stuck to the fence. This is the first time that I've seen a car have got stuck to the fence while they're crashing. Oh my god. Oh, that really sucks for John. Oh man. Ain't this odd to look at. But yeah, anyways, um. That might have been a reason why, uh, John was out of this race. Well, yeah, um, Christian have missed to 46, but then got hit by the, by David and Mike, 
and Peter Archak then got involved from that too, and might have fought wall right there, but I think and then have gone upside down? No! He hasn't gone upside down. He still has his four tires that are on the track right now while well, he's uh on air while he was stuck to the wall but yeah anyways um yellow drivers are affording these drivers which is that one two three four five yeah i think it's just five drive five of these drivers are gonna fall from that wreck so Logan definitely not Logan definitely have not gone far from that wreck, so yeah, he is definitely good. I didn't really see any damage from that car driver. So uh yeah, there he is. He's all clister clister crystal clear to go. Oh my god, I can't speak today, but yeah, that happened and that's one of the reasons why John Andrews is out of this race since his any car was stuck to the fence. So uh yeah. That might have been a big big problem from uh John Andrews. Not like a big big problem, but just a big problem as I stutter when I was uh saying it was a big problem, but yeah. Anyways, um that's gonna be it for our first replay of the Srek here at Kansas, so I guess we'll go ahead and show our commercials and then we'll get back to the race. Welcome back to Kansas Speedway. We currently have Ty Nicholas who is leading right now. Nick Hardy at second and Kip Silverpoint at third. So yeah, that's our top three drivers, but yeah, anyways, we're about to uh, get this race uh, restarted. As the pace car is skinned itself back to the pit lane for the second time. As the green flag is waving again, as we're gonna continue to watch our new leader, Ty Nicholas, in the eight. Okay, Nick Caddy has come to the outside lane, and I have Kip Kip several point second. So I don't know what's that about. Oh, he shouldn't have just uh. Gone to the inside lane before that Ace and Joel would uh, catch up to these two drivers, but uh, yeah, Ace just passed Kip Soul Point after nearly getting blocked by the 66, and now he has the chance to lead and pass the 8, so yeah, he is now the new leader. Now, tying the side by side with Phil Moscow. Might have tried to uh, save his position, but he can't for most of it. So, Fail will be at second. 
and we'll hopefully try to catch up to the 64 to get the lead. There's still an upper human at third, was the leader before, but then got passed by Ty Nicholas before the caution came out. Before that crash happened, I actually. And Ty Nicholas is currently at fourth after losing three positions. Jesus! Phil Moscow with a speed run pass. While we enter for turn one, but uh, yeah. Phil will finally get the lead in the 22. I don't know. He have kind of forgot he has been the leader before, but he had. If he was the leader before, then. Yeah, it might have been the second time that he has got himself to the lead, so. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan is now at third. Sign is at third. David Byers. It's currently now at second. Ty Nicholas going for second place. As he's gonna try to pass Dylan Upper Human again, but Dylan will continue to go forward from the outside lane to save his position, so Ty is currently not third yet, but he can block the 70 car just by not letting him pass pass uh, the H day car for third place, but uh yeah. Contact from the 66, given a little bump on accident to the 70. But uh, they're mostly good. They haven't spun out, so okay. Wow. Dylan with the block on Ty Nicholas. Okay then. Well, he didn't want the A driver to pass him again, since, uh... He wanted to, uh, pass the 22 to get the lead back. I think we're pretty much halfway to end this race, by the way, so... By the last few laps... Things are gonna get interesting... For some of these drivers that really... That really wanted to win. If it's for, the, for those drivers who haven't won a IndyCar race. But, uh, yeah. Excuse me. Jesus. The 5 hasn't gone close to the 22 anymore. But that is fine. The 5 can continue to be behind the 22. You just need to get a good spot to the inside lane to pass him. I think that's what he wanted to do anyway, so... I don't know, hopefully he could, uh... Get a spot to the inside lane. Hopefully he would... Get the lead back again. But yeah, he has now gone closer to the 22, and this time... He's definitely gonna try to pass the 22 to get his lead back. And then he became the leader once until we reached through the end of turn 2. Might have fit the wall a little bit, but that is fine. He can still continue to be a little farther away from the 22. And there goes Ty Nicholas coming from second to the inside lane as the battle between Dylan Abrahman and Ty Nicholas have continued. While wow, we're uh, pretty halfway to uh, while wow, we're halfway to end this race, but uh, yeah, we got Dylan Abrahman getting himself back to the lead. Ty Nicholas back to second. And Phil Moscow is currently at third, trying to pass Ty Nicholas, but couldn't. If uh, Ty just blocked the uh, 22 or whatnot, but I don't know if it really looks like it. Well, he's done that twice now, so yeah, he's gonna continue to try to get a good draft from the five. And uh, we're hopefully not 
uh, catch them up pretty slow. If that even makes sense. Christian Vargas. I mean, B3 Creed. Coming to 5th place for the top 5 position. Oh no, he's at 4th. Was at 6th before, but he was 5th before. But now he's at 4th. Then Nick, of course, the uh, Pulsitor is at 5th. Well, yeah, I think we got two aero cars that are running for the top 5 position. About to get some good results here at Kansas. What about the Pulsitor? It's currently at 18th. Alright. I'm still not sure if there's gonna be changes still. Depends if, uh... We could get like three changes or two. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I know. We might find out what's... You might find out to change this after we get to the point settings. Bell Mosco have now passed Ty Nicholas and will try to pass the five driver to get his lead back. Oh man, Dylan has really tried to block him. Might have almost made a mistake there to the by going to the outside lane, but regardless, that's still gonna give a chance to Ty Nicholas to get himself back to second place. So uh yeah, I guess Phil Moscow is back to third. Unless oh nope. Still not third. I mean they're side by side, but they're still side by side from the back stretch. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, Phil Mosco is not going to be third anymore. In fact, I think he's going to get fifth after passing, after getting passed by Lusakawa, Nick Eddy, and Sofia Frakinetto. Anyways, back to our top three drivers. Lusakawa is currently now at third. Way behind of the 8 driver. Already coming to the inside lane from the front stretch. Oof. As we got about 12 laps to go, Lewis Sakawa will gradually take second and might try to get a good draft from the 5 driver. I know we're nearly about to get this race to be finished. So there might be some chances that Dylan can uh, win this race. And we got car starts spawning out. Oh, Sema Oskin. Sema Oskin is one of the drivers that have gone involved from a crash at the front stretch. It might have been a front. It might have been a crash or a. If it's just his engine blowing up, but. Yeah, right now, his engine is blowing up. After getting fall from a crash, if it is actually a crash, but I don't know, we'll try to get some uh, replay over it to see what happened. But uh, yeah, that's gonna end Sima Oskin's day for sure. So uh, yeah, that sucked for him. Doing our human will be our leader in the five. As we're nearly about to end this race. As now we're at 10 laps to go while the caution was on. Louis Sakawa is now at 5th. No, 2nd. Uh, Ty Nick was at 3rd. Nick Keddy at 4th. And then Sofia Fraconetto at running for the top 5. So, yeah. We will go ahead and show our replay now to see what happened to Sima Oskin. This crash also happened at turn 4, and this might be the biggest one we have ever saw yet. But, uh, 
yeah, Caleb Bros on his first start for the IndyCar series. He just got spawned out by Owen Crafton who just started last and that spawned both of them almost to the grass but then came up to the front stretch to hit the other drivers like uh, Keith Kent I think and then get hit then Owen Crafton gets hit by Sema Oskin and that brings both of them up in the air and that is the biggest one you might have seen so far, like I said, and man, Caleb luckily has gotten his wheels on force on the track, but Owen Crafton have kept flipping up in the air. Like, man, this, this is still the biggest one, and oh, Joshua Robinson just gave them a big hit. And Owen Crafton have just lost his tire after that. So, yeah, this is, this is nearly as big as what we thought it would be. But it's not like a big one at the Kansas track. But we've seen uh, two flips that happened for Owen Crafton and Caleb Rose, who just started driving the IndyCar series. The rest of the of the four will continue to avoid these drivers but uh yeah again we got like four drivers again that got involved from that wreck and yeah after losing the tire Owen Craft one tire Owen Crafton will definitely be out of this race since they can't nothing since uh they can't do anything about that and Samet will be out as well since uh he had it had since this engine was blown up. Um, I don't know about Joshua Robinson or Caleb Bros, but they didn't seem to have that much damage as I thought they would, but I don't know. One of them can continue and one of them still can't and then might be out of the race, but I don't know. This is... Wow, that really... That really surprised me. But yeah, the second wreck has been way bigger than the first. But uh, yeah, that got intense there. But hopefully, we won't we won't get a third crash, a third crash of that track while we're uh, almost going through the end of this race. But uh, yeah, we'll see who's gonna win at Kansas and. We're definitely not going to do any commercial breaks after that, so we will go ahead and get ourselves back to the race right now. And we are already back to Kansas with Duna Brahimin leading by the last few laps of what we have right now. Louis Sakawa at third, Ty Nicholas at four, third, Nick Kennedy at fourth. Then Sophia at 5th, right. So the pace car will get us up back to pit lane for the third time as we are going green again. As we're going to watch our leader do an upper human to see if he can save his position or not. Ty Nicholas already have came to second after passing. Uusakawa, so he already had an interesting start. Hopefully he can still pass the 5 driver though. Now Sophia passing Uusakawa for third place. So that drops Uusakawa to fourth. This kips a point. Going for fifth now after passing Nick Kitty. Okay, just checking if uh Boy, those drivers in the back have uh, lost it, but they're all, they're all good to go, so yeah, anyways. Ty Nicholas have finally passed the five driver for the lead, as we're going by five laps to go for the Dickies 100k. Sophia, he now has Sophia and Lewis behind him, as we get our top three drivers. They're going to be battling, battling against each other. And one of them 
from the back is gonna crash into the party. With these four. Four laps to go. Sophia is going for the lead. There she is. She became the new leader at turn one and turn two. Still have never won an IndyCar race, but has been become a Daytona 500 champion for the Chips White Cup Series. Well, yeah, she's gonna try to get a second win out here at Kansas, and uh, hopefully, will not let anyone to pass her. As so we're going by three laps to go now, there's still an overheatman that's gonna try to get his lead back. Already at second after passing. Louis Sakawa, when she had gotten himself to fourth again. Nick Kennedy at third, two laps to go. There goes Referee Creed, getting himself back to the top five position. As she still got two arrow cars running for the top five. And there comes, here comes one of them. The Stolen Opera Human still goes to the inside lane and pass Sofia Fragnetto. Almost a free wide there. And now we're going by one lap to go, presented by DNRLA League. This is going to get intense now. Now the kitty is going to get it. The driver who just got his pole position from the start. And now will try to win the whole race. As we're coming by turn 3 and turn 4, this is it. Nick Kitty will win the Dickies 100k at Kansas. This will definitely be his first. This will definitely be Nick Kennedy's uh, first win at Kansas since we've been never, never seen Nick Kennedy winning a IndyCar race before. So, yeah, congrats to Nick Kennedy for winning the Dickies 100K at Kansas. And, uh, yeah. Here's the rest of the results. Actually, I gotta save this. Oh god. Please don't crash on me. While I do this, no. Why? Why is it going slow? My, my dudes, I don't get it. Oh, I'm missing an eye. Okay, there we go. Anyways, here's the rest of the results. First is Nick Caddy, who just got its, its first win at Kansas. Second is B3 Creed. Third, Louis Hakawa. Fourth, Carabell. Fifth, Doing Upper Human. Sixth, Ty Nicholas. Seventh, uh, Ace and Joao. Eighth, uh, Trey Smith, ninth, Sophia Franconetto, tenth, Joy Cotrera, eleventh, Will Parrish, twelfth, Lucy Lansmith Jr., thirteenth, Denny Bouchard, fourteenth, Phil Mosco, fifteenth, Kip Silverpoint, sixteenth, Zachary Delello, Delello, seventh, seventeenth, oh my god, Logan Williams, eighteenth, Christian Vargas, nineteenth, David, David Byers, twentieth, Peter Archack, twenty first, Andrew Williams, twenty second, Freddie Waters, 23rd, Mike Manfred, 24th, Keith Kent, 25th, Simon Oskin, 26th, Owen Crafton, 27th, Killer Bros, 29th, 28th, Joshua Robinson, and then finally at 29th is John Andrews. And, oh. Yep. Killer Blow Rose and Joshua Robinson have definitely got. have been out of this race. And Keith Kent, too? Man, that might have been coming from damage. On his right, left side, from uh, Owen Crafton, that's just, that just nearly uh, gonna fall off the film. I don't know if that's the first or the second caution, but the second crash. But I hope that's the second. But uh, yeah, Keith Kent's retired after he'd gone by through our last lap, so that might have sucked for him. And Mike Manfer and Freddie Waters with only one lap down. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for the Dickies 100k. 
thank you guys for watching. Like I said, uh, we'll continue to try to finish the Walmart IndyCar series and we're after we go by two weeks. And uh, by the way, happy one year anniversary for the NRLA since it has been born since August 18th, 2021. That's what we're, uh... What was, what was gonna, what am I gonna say there? I don't know, but anyways, um, yeah, but uh, like I said, happy one year anniversary to the NRLA League. It's already been one year since I made this league, and, uh, yeah, I'm proud to, uh, continue to run this league by one year. Uh, not gonna do anything special about it, but just doing a IndyCar race, uh, this Wednesday, so that counts as a one year on the first three on the first three special for the inner lay, so yeah. Well uh anyways, um speaking about the NRLA, uh the NRLA has been merged with the DRL, if you haven't known, but if you still have seen the previous winner previous video then uh yeah, it, it might cut your cut to your attention, but um, if you haven't joined the DRL slash NRLA server yet, go ahead and do so. It will be at the description. And uh, yeah, what well, was gonna say there? Right, right. So I uh get to the one year anniversary fig. Uh. Right, until so we gear ourselves back to some more IndyCar racing, but only by two weeks, uh, we'll be heading to Sonoma for the Chevrolet Grand Prix of Sonoma. I don't know if I'm gonna do 